Good evening, everybody. Meteorologist Carson Vicroy here. Quite a bit to talk about. I know I woke up last night because it was windy. We had 76 mile per hour winds picked up in Livingston. Those are hurricane force winds. Don't often see that in Montana, but for the Livingston part of Park County, it's pretty typical. And also, McAllister picked up 61 mile per hour wind gust. But this will die off a little bit as we head into the evening, and we're going to be looking at a dry and mild weather day for Sunday, and then dry to start the week. But we could have changes later on in the week. First things first, that wind advisory out for Livingston over to Big Timber to the south edge of Columbus there. 40 to 55 mile per hour winds are still possible to the north of Interstate 90 near Big Timber. That is a high wind warning where we could pick up more hurricane forced winds through at least the early evening. Haven't had any rain or snow today because of that area of high pressure, but look what's swirling out in the Pacific Ocean. That's another storm system that we're going to have to watch. I don't anticipate this storm system to impact our weather, but the one right behind it could. This one will go up into Br northern British Columbia, and we could be dealing with a little bit of rain snow from a weaker system by Wednesday. That chance persists through Thursday and Friday of next week. And then by the weekend, we're not dealing with much, so Saturday and Sunday look good. But for your Christmas Eve Monday, another storm system moves in. And by your Christmas, take this with a grain of salt, we could be dealing with more snow, which could cause travel impacts. I'll have more details at 530.